Hey guys, thanks for watching Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes. I'm Samia. And I'm Anthony. So I think we've all come across those times where we just can't get something on our computer to work, or even worse, we wind up with a virus or malware. Luckily, some companies have specialized teams of experts who are on hand to help. For example, Sony has their premium services team, which are dedicated service techs who give people personalized help for their gadgets. Yeah, and these folks are the Uber geeks. You can find them at any Sony store, and you can also reach them on the phone or online. I think in some cases, they will even come to your house to fix something. Oh wow, super helpful. Yeah. Anyways, we thought we'd see what's in their bag of tricks and share a tip you might have never thought of before. Getting your iTunes library from your old computer to your new computer. No fun, but the premium service team makes it so simple. Check it out. Now, if you've owned your laptop for a while, chances are you have a lot of music stored on iTunes. Now, the easiest way to transfer your iTunes library is to use an external hard drive. You can get an external hard drive for as low as $50, or you can even borrow one from a friend for a day. Just make sure it has enough space on the hard drive for all of your music files. Now, once you have your hard drive plugged into your old computer and the computer recognizes it, just launch iTunes. All right, now it's time to gather up your iTunes library. Now, you can actually store all of your media into one folder on the computer, so you only have to move one folder and you don't miss anything. With iTunes open, go to the iTunes menu and choose Preferences. Once the Preferences window pops up, click on the Advanced tab. Here you'll see a checkbox that says Copy Files to iTunes Media Folder when adding to Library. Check that box and click OK. So once you've hit OK, anything you might not have stored in the central folder will get copied to it. Once everything's copied, then you can organize your files for the move. You can do this in iTunes by going to File, then Library, and then Organize Library. This time a window is going to pop up. Be sure to put a check mark in the Consolidate Files box and then click OK. Then close out iTunes altogether. Once you've taken all these steps, your iTunes files are all in one place and they're finally ready to be backed up on your external hard drive. Locate your external hard drive and then open a desktop window and navigate to your iTunes library in your music folder. Once you've found the folder, just drag it to your external hard drive folder and it'll start making a one-for-one -one copy. If you have a really huge library, this might take some time. Now once everything's copied over, just eject your hard drive and plug it into your new computer. On your new computer, be sure that iTunes is closed out first. Then, double click on the external hard drive icon to open it and find the iTunes folder you copied to it. Next, you want to open a new window and navigate to the location where you want to restore your iTunes library. This is where you'll want to drag the backup iTunes folder from your external hard drive. If there's already an iTunes library in this location, you'll be asked whether you want the new one to replace it. Answer yes. Now, just launch iTunes and voila! Your entire iTunes library that you just restored from backup is all there. So there you have it. Now to meet the premium services team, head to any Sony store or visit the site below for more info. And if you want to stay on top of everything Sony makes, go to youtube.com signal for more videos. For now, this is Sami and Anthony. Thanks for watching.